Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Uh, good morning everybody, good afternoon and good evening to all of you. Uh, welcome back to this DADM 2 lecture series on the NPTEL MOOC. And uh, as you know this is the De Data Analysis and Decision Making 2 course and we are in the, uh, the 11th week. And as you are aware which I do repeat before the starting of any class uh, for this DADM 2. This is a 12 week course that means we have the 11th week and the 12th week to complete before we wrap up this course. Total contact hours is 30, total number of um, lectures is 60 because each um, lecture is for half an hour. And after each week we have assignments after 5 and, and as you know in each week we have 5 uh, lectures after which as I already mentioned just few seconds back we have assignments. So, you have already completed 10 assignments. So, with the end of the 11th week, you will have the 11th assignment. And my good name is Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department at IIT Kanpur. So, if you remember, uh, we were discussing the GERT and the QGERT process, general evaluation review technique and queuing concept being utilized in QGERT or GERT. Now, in, in this GERT method and QGERT method you have different type of logic gateways to be utilized and or nor and so on and so forth. And based on that you have different ways of how you implement that. So, we did discuss at the last few minutes for the ending of the 10th week and based on that we will proceed into the further discussion. So, what we will do is that in the, in the GERD process, we have some simple steps how you basically will implement it. So, we, we will discuss that first and then go into the analysis. So, we will convert a qualitative description of the overall system of the problem to a model in a network frame, network model. Where the network models as I mentioned that if you consider the PERT and CPM, they would not be any looping back, but in GERD and QGERT you will basically have the looping back concept uh, there. So, based on this assumption you will basically what are the informations are given like process 1 uh, precedes process 2 by 2 minutes or say for example, process 2 can only be started when process 3 has also started or say for example, after process 4 finished you will basically recheck it and, and it comes back to process 2. So, all these quality statements which are mentioned for the problem will be incorporated in the JERT or GERT concepts. So, you will collect the necessary data to describe the branches of the network. So, if you remember the branches of the network would basically have a probability and the time period. So, time period and probability would be such that you will consider that if uh, the process follows any, any path, it will have a probability. Um, and this probability would be given by a certain distribution and the time would also be considered in order to find out the cumulative time from the process from the source to the sink considering the source is on the left hand side and sink on the right hand side. You will obtain also an, an equivalent one branch function between the two nodes of the, the network. One branch function means this and or concepts you will combine them probabilistic and deterministic and and all this combination would be done based on this you will basically formulate the network um, or the whole process uh, project network into the GERT um, um, logical network such that it will be easy for us to solve. In the four steps we will convert the equivalent functional form into the following two performance measures of the, the network. So, if you remember I did mention time and again that probability and time are important and will basically utilize this concept of probability and time to basically find out the overall metric based on which you will analyze the, the overall network. So, one would be the probability that a specific node is realized and obviously, you will have the time period for the realization 
and another would be the moment generating function of the time associated with an equivalent network such that based on the moment generating function you can find out the average time, the variances, the expected value so on and so forth such that it will give us a whole lot of information about the network from the time point of view because time taken for a um, for a for a information flow or of a project flow from uh, ith to the jth one if you are moving from the left to the right and obviously if it can be from the right to the left also considering there is a looping. So, this time period would, would help us in order to find out the overall average time taken to finish the project based on the concept of GERT and QGERT being utilized. You will make inference concerning the system under study obtained in 4 above. So, 4 above was basically you will have the moment generating function based on the time fact and you will basically have the, the probability that a specific network or a path would be traversed. So, one is probability, its distribution function, one is the time which will be found out using the moment generating function. So, consider this a very simplistic uh, version of the um, uh, GERT network. So, you basically have uh, the you, you are doing some process whatever the process is. So, consider I start from the leftmost node and let me give a number 1, 2, 3, 4. Number 1, 2, 3, 4 which for this diagram is 1, 2, 3, 4, but consider in the overall uh, description of the problem they are mentioned at node number 22, 23, 24, 25 obviously there can be other nodes also going out from 22 or coming into 22, similarly going out from 23, coming into 23 and so on and so forth. Now, consider that I will only consider the, the, the networks and the process diagram in the arrows in which the network is connected. So, you will basically define the problem. So, and definition of the problem what you want to do. Say for example, at 20 second stage you obtain the raw materials and based on the processing work which you do on a lathe machine, on a drilling machine, on a shaper, painter, CNC machine whatever it is, you reach the 23rd stage which is state number 2. But it may be possible that the overall working uh, on the raw material based on the fact that you have to do some grinding, drilling whatever was not perfect. So, obviously, the material machine uh, the work can come back to stage 1 to be tested such that you can find out the dimensions based on the fact whether the dimensions right again it need to be deprocessed or processed. Now, once the 23rd stage is complete with looping being there considered, so it may problem the overall movement can be in this direction. So, there is need no reprocessing it goes back. So, there is a probability of how many such sets of um, in a part particular unit of time, uh, what is the probability that it will proceed straight forward without any looping. And in the case if there is looping, we will find out that what is the probability based on is the loop is formed and uh, till what stage the loops will continue. So, once 23rd state stage is complete we go into say for example, the next step is basically research activity, research activity gives an output um, on the stage 24. So, you will basically find out research means that consider you have build up um, you have been developed a molecule uh, for a drug or say for example, found out a good um, uh, chemical composition of some uh, fertilizer which can be utilized in the fields you will basically evaluate the overall output which you have obtained. So, here it will come the evaluate the research, research means the overall work which you have done. Based on the output which you will get, you will basically um, form uh, reach the stage 25. Now, it may be possible that the overall total quality measurements you are doing, the soil quality measurement you are doing considering that using a fertilizer, the productivity of the soil, the irrigation level which should be utilized in this soil everything is obtained at the end of the 25th say stage. So, consider if it is perfect, so we will proceed further on depending on whatever the next steps are considering it is not perfect again you will basically go into the research stage try to change few of the parameters of the input may be soil um, uh, nitrogen content may be um, uh, water uh, moisture which is there in the soil or the water content which is there in the soil or the compost quantities you want to um, add into the soil. 
So, all these things would be re-evaluated and some things would be changed and based on that again we will complete the research activity and again evaluate the research. So, this loop will continue till we are satisfied to what level of, of competence or over overall output we want from the research. Research means the overall work which you want to do. So, it is important to note however, some of the inherent disadvantages which are there when you use GERD process. Obviously, it is an advantage with respect to PERT CPM, but and it, it has some disadvantages or else if there was no disadvantages then GERD would definitely would have been used in a very big way or QGERD or QGERD should have been utilized in a very big way in place of PERT and CPM. So, what are the disadvantages and what are the so called bottlenecks? First, GERD typically employs activity on ARC format which you have pre previously noted are not at all common with modern project management techniques because the use of dummy variables then uh, comes into the play based on the fact that you are using the activity and arc concept. Now, you are trying to utilize the activity and node concept then obviously trying to draw the GERD network may, is not possible. So, thus with uh, so few exceptions GERD is not supported ok M moreover which I should have mentioned from, uh, before the beginning of the, of the GERD concept. GERD uh, somehow has lacked the overall input which should have come from the industry based on which different type of softwares and tools could have been developed, but unfortunately it did not happen. So, one is basically the activity on R concept why it is used and why generally activity on node would be conceptually much better in order to analyze PERT and CPM and obviously, activity on node should also have been utilized for GERD, but as you know that GERD is only based on activity on ARC point 1. Point number 2 that uh, the considering is a, it is basically a long drawn process where you find out the time, where you find out the probability and, and the probability of taking any one path. So, if and if they are very complicated networks, obviously you would need good um, uh, software. Uh, to basically solve that those type of problems which where you use the GERT and the QGERT processes, but unfortunately the development of GERT software has not taken place as it should have been. To continue this discussion further, so GERT networks can become extremely cumbersome and complicated depending upon the size of the project, the, the number of activities, expected feedback loops, how many feedback loops are there the probabilistic condition that may, must be modeled, the probability value, the time period value all these things are brought into the picture and with the whole set of uh, project uh, uh, nodes and activities. So, it becomes very difficult to model them in the true sense. So, thus all the purporting to offer a more accessible and visual treatment of project networks GERD can actually quickly become unwieldy and obfuscate the visualization of the project's network activities. So, considering that it has loops, it has probabilities so on and so forth. So, even if theoretically it is best to have the GERD network to basically give us the best possible results for any type of complicated project, but when you see it in the practical sense it becomes too cumbersome in order to that to be implemented. So, consider a very simple example. So, there is a space mission which consists of two vehicles, two launch vehicles. Both vehicles must, must be successfully launched such that the space mission is successful. So, consider there are two booster rockets and both of them are needed because one booster rocket would help the overall space, space craft to go to a certain distance of say for example, 100 kilometers and then in the next 100 kilometers considering that it has to traverse a total distance of 200 kilometers uh, that second um, uh, booster rocket should be working. So, that means both of them should be uh, operational for this space mission which we are going to consider as in the example. So, consider those, those booster rockets as vehicle 1 and vehicle 2. So, in this vehicle 1 and vehicle 2, so we will consider that uh, the working principles would be. So, let me take out I think uh, it would be best if I copy. So, give me two one minute I will copy that logical networks I will copy it here. I have this. So, it will be easier for all of us to because I thought I will just go at one pace then I change the 
the speed depending on that how the problem score. So, these are the levels of information which I would have. and one one of these so we will copy these also so for better understanding of the overall problem i'll just try it so that we are all in sync okay so, we are all set. If you remember, so these were the simple examples for exclusive, I am just repeating what we have done, exclusive or the concept logical network or gateways, inclusive or the third one is and, and the characteristics are all given on the right. Then you have the deterministic and the probabilistic, so and the combinations are given. So, let us go one by one. I will come back to these slides quite often as we proceed. So, if you consider vehicle 1 and vehicle 2, the symbols are diamond. So, what is the diamond? I know that all of you are aware of what is the diamond is the probabilistic one, but still for sake of, of all of us to understand this diamond means the probabilistic network that means exactly one branch emanating from the node is taken if the node is realized. So, it is only one either success or not success, it cannot be both. So, when, when the vehicle 1 is launched, it is successful that means it will take the the spacecraft from 0 to 100 uh, um, uh, kilometers and if vehicle 2 is also successful it will take it from uh, 101 to 200 kilometers so vehicle 1 successfully launched so this is for one let me use the blue colors and red colors so So, I am voting for vehicle 1, this is for vehicle 2. Now, I use the red color unsuccessful, vehicle 1, vehicle 2. So, now let us see how it is. So, vehicle 1 is successful and vehicle 2 is successful, the mission success is there, vehicle 1 unsuccessful, vehicle 2 is unsuccessful, the mission is a failure because these are unsuccessful launches and consider that if you have mentioned that any one of the, bo the booster rocket working, it would be it will make uh, the project successful, which means that in this case, we will basically have the concept that. Uh, so. In, in this combinations, we are not going to take success and unsuccess. That means, we are not going to take the concept that 1 is a success and 2 is an unsuccessful one. That means, blue 1 and red 2 would not mean that the whole project is a success. Or if I consider this concept of red 1 and blue 2 also does not mean that it is a successful launch. So, only combination would be yes for success for 1 yes for success for 2, any other combinations are you know, unsuccessful. So, we will basically proceed on this concept. Now, consider the space mission consists of 2 vehicles again, but it now mentions that at least one of the vehicle must be successfully launched. That means, one is success, other may be an unsuccessful one. So, you will basically have blue 1, red 2 or blue re, um, red 1, blue 2 these are possible, it is a success and also already we have that blue 1 and blue 2 would be a success. So, out of the 4 combinations, 3 are yes, 1 is no. So, let us see this common concept. So, it will become a more, more uh, so called involved diagram. So, vehicle 1, I will use the, uh, use the same concept of the colors, blue for success and red for unsuccessful one and then highlight it accordingly. So, vehicle 1 
and launch is success. Now, if it is a success, we have a vehicle to also success. So, both of them are success. So, let me use blue color. So, this is 1, this is this is 1, this is 2. So, let us go from the extreme where both are unsuccessful. I am starting from the extreme case as that is easier for me to proceed and explain. So, this is unsuccessful, this is unsuccessful, so you have unsuccessful launch. So, it will basically be a maneuverative failure is there and the whole mission is a failure. So, if it is a mission is a failure, so it is an unsuccessful launch. So, you will basically go back to the stage that uh, they are not helping the overall Okay, no, 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 just this. I this diagram would have been much better if I basically uh, combine it accordingly. So this is success. Of so yes, so this is also a success. This is so consider that the con com this combinations were such so success and success are combined. So in this case, both vehicles are successfully launched. If that is the case, then the they can be two states of failure later on. One is man maneuvering failure for uh, vehicle 1 and this maneuverability failure for vehicle 2. So, if I combine both of them, so uh, even if they are success later on maneuverability failure would lead to the mission failure as marked here as I am highlighting. And in case maneuverability failure is yes for 1, no for 2, no for 1, yes for 2, it will be a success for the whole project and obviously, if the combinations are success maneuverability are yes for both of them, it is an yes success for the overall project. Now, what one of the niceties of the GERD is its usefulness at many levels within a problem area because it is able to delineate all different combinations of the output diagram which are possible. So, you will basically had a receipt of the consider that now you have the subsystems. So, you have for a successful one or an unsuccessful one you will have different stages. If you combine them and you are trying to basically formulate uh, for this um, uh, vehicle launch, it can be say for example, you are doing a, uh, a big manufacturing work for a bridge or for a boiler or for an aircraft or for a car which is there are a lot of stages and you basically consider that all of the works at the substations are sub assemblies. So, you consider them as subsystems. So, based on the fact that all the subsystems are worked on you will basically have the overall combination combined and which you would leave to the assembly checkout. So, here you will basically have in this case this is the pre-processing work which has been going on before the vehicle is launched. And so, launching would basically be a success. Now, if it is a success, there would be combinations uh, based on this which will formulate the problem. So, these are the combinations. So, if I consider the combinations would be your con basically combined in the input or the output. So, if it is an exclusive or an a deterministic output you have this uh, and, uh, parachute shaped um, the lying down parachute which is a 
triangular part and a hemisphere. So, that will give you an exclusive OR plus deterministic one and diamond one would be the exclusive OR and the probabilistic one with a base. So, 10 which is the exclusive OR and the inclusive OR would definitely not, not have the base. So, in that case you will have the inclusive OR uh, the, the so called triangle. So, this is the triangle which you are considering the V, V shape. And again you have the deterministic and the probabilistic uh, so called output. And for the AND deterministic and the AND probabilistic one you have the circular part with the probabilistic and the deterministic concept. So, in the deterministic concept so no change in the, in the overall structure occurs and the probabilistic one you have a triangular or a uh, V turned anti clockwise 90 degree. So, you have the checkout of the system, assembly checkout, the terminal countdown, the successful launch and that will lead to the orbital correction achieved or the successful launch has been done such that you can say the overall project has been successful depending on the combinations which you have. For a yes, yes, the number of diagrams are much low. For a yes, yes being successful and yes, no, no, yes also being successful, the total combinations would definitely increase. Further continuing the discussion, so for the AND node it plays a predominant loan, no role in the activities up to and including the terminal countdown. So, this is due to the fact that all activities must be performed before lift off. Obviously, you have to finish the processing, the part, the checking the, uh, the electronic system, if any uh, repair has to be done, everything has been checked. The, whether the cryogenic fuel has been filled properly, whether the booster rockets are working properly, everything has to be checked and thorough before the launch. After the terminal countdown, either possibilities is, <coughs> is possible, that means it is a success and an unsuccessful one, but the success and in unsuccessful ones are combined for each and every stage which you have already considered. Successful node is an exclusive OR node due to the reason that successful launch can happen in two mutually exclusive ways which are proper operation during boost phase such so that is a success later on and unsuccessful orbit after boost phase with orbit correction being achieved. So, there has been some uh, unsuccessful later stage of the boot state, but you are able to correct, correct it. So, obviously that is the, the rocket or the satellite whatever was being planned to put in the orbit has been put, put there as required. The dotted lines represent the process where it is where it signifies activities that do not contribute the su successful launch. So, if you consider the dotted lines that is the flight phase failure and the boost phase failure technically would mean that any such failure would signify that they do not give a, any impact or have any impact on the successful launch. So, with this I will end uh, the first lecture for the 11th week and continue to discuss more about GERT in the subsequent lectures for the 11th week. Have a nice day and thank you very much.